Hey guys, it's SwiftXcalibur here, and today I'm bringing you uh, another gameplay, and this will be the second installment of my Bringing Fun Back Into Video Games series that I, I did a while back with my uh, with my Ninja Turtles, as we like to call it. Uh, and this one is called Litterbug, as you can probably see from the title. Uh, and so in this video, like the last one, I'm going to go over just um, um, some tips for how to be doing this kind of a, uh, this kind of thing. By the way, I did have the entire team playing Litterbug. Uh, I'll run over just what is Litterbug, because I'm sure some of you don't know it, uh, some of the disadvantages, and just some kind of extra notes, because this is it's quite an interesting game type to play. Um, now, what Litterbug is, <clears throat> is when you get a kill, you have to get... Uh, the next kill you get has to be with a different weapon. And you, so you have to go pick up another gun all the time. Uh, and it really makes you never get the map differently, but... So, some tips that I can give for this is, first off, your perks. Uh, make sure your perks are universal for whatever kind of guns you think you're going to be running into. So, uh, I always like to take quick draw because it's quite likely you're going to run into some snipers, sleight of hand, just in case you get a light machine gun, and whatever third perk you like, really. Personally, I like to run Dead Silence or Sitrap Pro, just because I have turtle beaches and it, it's I really don't like hearing my own footsteps. So, <clears throat> that's, that's for those, and then your attachments and proficiencies don't really matter, because, I mean, obviously, you're only getting one kill with your primary gun before switching it out, uh, and that's where I would say use a submachine gun as well, because when, uh, when you're using a submachine gun, obviously, you're going to be playing a lot closer to the enemy, uh, and this is just for your starter gun, obviously, it switches up instantly, you only get one kill with it, but... Um, use a submachine gun. The reasoning behind that is so that when you do get a kill, you can move in. Like uh, you're you're close, and it's easy for you to move in and go get their gun and continue moving. Um, I would also another tip I'd have to say is definitely don't run very high kill streaks. Uh, and if you're really not like that, if you're not well, if you're not that good of a player, then definitely be running support kill streaks like UAV ballistic vests or UAV counter UAV for your team. Uh, because it, it's it's tough to get high kill streaks when there's a couple enemies like it's hard to get double kills and things obviously and if there's more than one enemy a lot of the times you'll end up dying trying to pick up a new gun. Now the the best game type to play uh, would have to be kill confirmed in my opinion. That's just because when you get a kill you need to rush in, go get a new gun and why not play the objective at the same time? You know, you get a kill, they drop their dog tag, dub, duh, dog tag, you go pick up their gun, you pick up the dog tag, you know, you're, you're helping your team out that way, and you know, it's a lot, I don't know, it's a lot more handy than, say, if you were to play Team Deathmatch, where you get a kill, and then you go to pick that up and you die, now you've just given them, your, uh, the enemy, a free kill. So, I, I'd say stick to either Kill Confirmed or Free For All is another good one, because you're often going to run into just one person at a time, and it's easy to control that kind of engagement. <clears throat> uh, sorry about that. Now, on to some of the negatives on Litterbug. Um, players don't always drop their guns when you kill them, which uh, you saw in the very, very beginning. I, I was kind of like lying prone on this guy trying to find find his gun, and he just didn't drop one. And that's something I've run into quite a bit when playing Litterbug, is it just seems like I'll get a kill, and then I'll just search forever. And while I'm trying to pick up this guy's gun... I'll end up dying, and that's probably the main cause of deaths when you're playing this as well. Uh, because, you know, you're completely vulnerable, unless you switch to your secondary, uh, then then you're a bit alright, I suppose. But, that that's the main thing, is if you're really trying to play strict to the rules, then, yeah, it's a bit tough. <laughs> uh, not to get a lot of deaths. Now, just some additional information, I suppose, is... Uh, Litterbug really lets you see what other players are going to be using, you know, it really, it, it kind of gives you a, an idea of what the biggest guns, the most popular guns are, it lets you, uh, it, it lets you get a feel for how the enemies are going to be playing as well, because you've got their guns, so you know that at least one person on their team, if, unless they change the class obviously, but they're going to, they're going to be having to play a certain way, and you know how they're going to be playing, because you've got their gun. Um, and when you do pick it up, and say it's not a very good thing, like, when I was trying to record for this, 
I I quite often ran into like a, a silenced USAS or a silent. I got a silenced Dragunov once, was, which was really bad. Um, I don't think I got a kill with that. <laughs> but it, it makes you adapt and it, it kind of teaches you new ways to navigate the map. And it's just, I don't know, overall it's something really interesting. And here I was like, ah, right, cool, 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 cool. And I have no idea how I didn't kill this guy. Like, ugh, that, that kind of frustrated me. But nonetheless, um, the other thing is that Litterbug can be really stressful to play. Um, and, you know, especially when you're going for a gameplay. Like, I suppose that if, if you're not going for a gameplay, you can just play it for the sake of it. But it's it's not an easy win. It's quite it's quite challenging if you're playing a team based game and everyone on your team is doing it. So yeah, definitely look out for. Um, well, you know, you might want to stop playing this if it gets a bit stressful. But when you do win with it, it's it's pretty re it's a pretty rewarding feeling to think. Every time I killed someone on your team, I switched guns and I still beat you. I don't know. It's it's fun. <laughs> well, that's pretty much everything I had to talk about in terms of the actual, um, in terms of the actual, I don't know, gameplay, I suppose, and how to play Litterbug. So I, I've got a few extra things just to talk about here. Um, the first one would be my, <laughs> my uploading schedule. So I know I keep on saying, guys, don't worry, I'm, I'm back into it. I'm going to be uploading every three days. And I'm sure you guys are probably sick of hearing it because I've said it so many times that every time I'm just like, yeah, something came up. So, <laughs> hopefully now I should get back into my three-day upload schedule. However, if I have nothing to talk about, I don't want to upload a video that's going to waste your time. Speaking of time, is, um, are these videos too long? Because I did get a comment on, well, from a few of my friends saying, uh, your domination one on MW2 was just, it was way too long. And I, I lost interest. So, Hopefully, if you're sticking around at this part in the video, I, I'm assuming you enjoyed it. Uh, so, you know, props to you for watching. <laughs> um, but, so yeah, just, just video length, because I, I don't want to be uploading stuff that's boring, but at the same time, when I'm uploading like the four-minute free-for-alls, I feel like those are too short. And this this is actually, I, I, <laughs> I'm just going like rambling from thing to thing now, because I've got like a list of stuff I want to talk about. So... The next thing would be continuing this series. I, I'm kind of running low on ideas, so I'm going to be switching it up. I'm not just going to be playing card. I'm going to be doing like Halo. Uh, um, yeah, Halo is kind of all I've got. <laughs> but I don't know. So if you've got any ideas for fun stuff to do, uh, let me know. Send me a private message or something, or leave a comment uh, saying, you know, here's the idea, and I'll, I'll hopefully be able to do it. And you know, leave some kind of insane things, or leave like a challenge, say. We want you to use this class and all that kind of stuff. So the gameplay is pretty much wrapping up here. I got one final thing to talk about, and that is uh, off topic. It's the uh, the podcast I do. That we've now got a channel. I know I mentioned that in my last video, but it's uh, uh, I I should be uploading to that soon, and we will be definitely continuing to do more podcasts. We've had a bit of difficulty with it recently, but I'd like to thank you for watching. My name is Dex Caliber, and I'm signing out.